that anybody is happy about the current criticism that the palace in their almighty knowledge has uh, sort of bestowed on Clemamba uh, under circumstances. You know? But, however, the people who are currently happy, we are, I'm sure that they are aware of what their boss or their principal, the sort of um, uh, atrocity they are even their own principal committed. And um, we are with... Oshomole brought Obaseki to him. He let Oshomole know. Oshomole, this is Obaseki. I don't know Obaseki. You are the one bringing him. We don't know his character. Thanks for clicking on this channel. Please subscribe to Afo's blog history and click on the notification button so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notified. Two Edo media personalities react to Clem Agba Bruhaha at Oba's palace. The two Edo media personalities are wounded civilian and Imajuan Izadawa, who react to what transpired at Oba of Benin Palace, when Clem Agba visited the palace. You will watch the video of Clem Agba's visit to Oba Palace. Oba asked him to name the people who benefited from his office. You will also watch a video of Oba of Benin appealing to the former President Buhari to give two ministerial slots to Edo State. According to Wounded Civilian, Oba of Benin does not know how to pretend. He tells you the truth irrespective of who you are, and that is what he told Clem Agba. The Oba of Benin also told Oshio Mole when he brought Obasiki that he doesn't trust Obasiki because nobody knows his character. We are all witnesses to what Obasiki became to Edo people. He added that come 2024 election, Edo people will never support someone like Obasiki again. While Imajuan Izadawa refers to what transpires at the palace, as a father correcting his son, that is what happened between Oba of Benin and Clem Agba. He went further to warn Obasiki's supporters who are celebrating what transpired at the palace, should wait till their principal visits the palace and see what will happen. Their principal has committed a lot of atrocities against the kingdom. Please sit down and watch the videos. The Oba used the opportunity to push for more federal appointments for Edo indigents, as it happens to be the only South South APC state. We pray to Almighty God to help you put in place a formidable team of men and women of proven integrity that will join you to take this nation to the next level, considering the Edo state. Considering that the Edo state is uh, the only APC state in the South South, may we pray to Mr. President indulgence to have two ministerial slots. <laughs> the Oba also discussed the poor power supply in Edo state. Your Excellency, recall that during your last uh, visit to Edo state, the attention of Mr. President was drawn to the poor and ineffective performance of the Benin Electricity Distribution Company, BEDC, in the provision of power to electricity consumers in a do state. Suffice to state that several months down the line, the, the situation has worsened. I have uh, come here this uh, afternoon with some of my friends and brothers to thank His Majesty for His love for this state, Edo State, and your love for our country, Nigeria. Her Majesty recalled that in 2016, Edo State had only one uh, minister in the cabinet of the immediate past uh, president of Nigeria. But in 2019, His Majesty wrote to Mr. President to consider and let Edo have two ministers. I became a beneficiary of that prayer. And I happened to have become the first minister to come from Edo North since 1999. I've come to thank His Majesty 
for that uh, privilege for the prayers to Mr. President for which I'm a beneficiary. So having done my job for three and a half years and I've successfully completed it, I thought it wise to come back to His Majesty and thank you for your prayers, for your support and the advice that I got throughout this three and a half years I was a Minister of State for Budget and National Planning. Your Majesty, I also want to congratulate you on the gazette on, of the artifacts that the immediate past president signed. That the artifacts belong to the palace and the immediate belong to the palace. <laughs> As a follow-up to that, I had discussions with the Director General of the Museum and Monuments Commission. And I had uh, made a provision of 1.9 billion in the 2023 budget for in my understanding, the Royal Museum. However, I have found some foul play from within the, the Commission. Once again, thank you very much, uh, your, your Majesty. As uh, the future becomes, I pray for your blessings, that God guides my thoughts, and God blesses my aspirations, and God guides my ways. Thank you very much, your Majesty. These are the reasons why I came. We thank God Almighty, we thank our ancestors for your successful completion of your, of your office in tenure as Minister of State. We thank God Almighty for that. We thank our ancestors. I think throughout your tenure, this must be the I don't remember if, if we actually saw you one or twice. Maybe the first time you came, when uh, you complained about the flood, remember the flood water, and, uh, and now you your completion. And uh, in between, Sending messages to to someone here that uh, they are sending observations I want to make. Um, I will try. I will try to to keep some out of the public domain. But I ever since you mentioned certain things, I'm constrained to. Uh, them. We interacted once in a while. It's true that my intervention, my request to President Buhari, uh, made you benefit from uh, the office you are thankful for that, the office you had. So thank God for that. And I was uh, also wondering about many things. As you were beneficiary of that office, just yet applying, that's a big office. That's a big office. I was wondering if any one of uh, our people were also beneficiaries from your, from your beneficiary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying they should, they should thank you, you are here now, if anyone, if there's anyone here, including the son of mine, say, if you brought a son or a daughter that benefited from you being in the office, they should thank you now. This is the opportunity to, when benefit you are like a book, not a
can't call it him. Then I was a little worried. Not a little worried. I was very worried by the statements. I don't watch social media. I don't have time. I don't have time. Once in a while, something will appear. Somebody is not close to me. They want me to see this. They want me to see this. That you were under pressure to run for governorship. You were under pressure to run for governorship. And then uh, they sent me another social media uh, video clip. It was well, so near. When you were commissioner for the environment, and your boys were scattering everybody's uh, tables and everything, why are you, why you, are you are keeping quiet? What you, you should do also, you should do for the damage control. If you have your voice down, if you have, you have your voice, you also, you also do your own counter. And uh, it's, it's the name of the game, as they say. It's the name of the game. The politics they have. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. But I didn't like that. I didn't think it was very good publicity for you. If, for somebody who wants to be covered on the streets. And they are, they are rubbishing you like that. And if you can't keep quiet. So that's my own advice to you. I thank you very much, uh, Prince. Uh, I mean, uh, you didn't make any millionaire uh, out of, uh, out of uh, our people. You didn't make any millionaire. You should have made me, you should have made me, you should have made me. But yet I'm planning, you should have made millionaire as a matter of not, not, I'm not also. We, we just spoke and made the opportunity to give it out. We say we need to place. Everybody, my dear people, I salute you all. You see, I want to talk about Edo State politics. Edo State politics, right? Uh, the man we have been talking about here, Clemagba. From a donut visited uh, our our king of Monobanedo Uku Apolo Polo or Ba Ewari Nupu Giver. You know, there is something about our king that makes him different from the rest. Really. If you don't like you, he will not hide it. He will let you know I don't like you. If you don't like you, he will just tell you. He's not the kind of king that pretend because he wants because uh, he, because you are a governor, you are a president, uh, because for that because of what people may say, he will just tell it, tell you you are not who you are, you are not doing well. When uh, Oshomole brought Obaseki to him, he let Oshomole know, Oshomole, this is Obaseki, you are, I don't know Obaseki, you, you are the one bringing him. We don't know his character. Gawoy, ye gulu gulu, gawoy. Lu see hi. I don't trust him, see him, see him. He, Obaseki were sitting down there. Oshomole were there. Oyegu were there. Baba let them know. He might trust him. All those miscreants who spent two weeks with those IPOB on Yamiri, they begin to miss ya. They were talking trash. They were throwing stones. They were attacking the empire. In Amudia. I said, eh, Bema, wa, 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 wa. In Amudia. No, eh, na, ag, boru, the social media, ag, ah. Eh, ah, eh, ah, sick a governor. Eh, ah, ah, ah. Eh, man, who give a shit about him, I don't sick a governor. Ah, on, ba, ma, sa, ah, on, bele. Wa, da, yo. What happened? What happened? Are we not seeing what Baba saw then? Is that what we are seeing now? Then Clemagba went to Baba again. Baba let him understand. This position where you did for Abuja, where Buhari give you now. You don't know saying I mean press body where they give you that position. Say you come from Edo. You don't know. You say you know this head like lizard. I know. Ah. Uh, 
As you did that position where you go day, but I don't go now. I bless say you, you are jobless now. Who you empower for these states? He asked Baba chiefs there. Okay, no, make another one like this. Make I play the video. Listen, and gentlemen, listen. And God guides my thoughts, and God blesses my aspirations, and God guides my ways. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. These are the reasons why I came. We thank God Almighty, we thank our ancestors for the successful completion of your, of your office in tenure as Minister of State. We thank God Almighty for that. We thank our ancestors. I think throughout your tenure, this was really I don't remember if, if we actually saw you one or twice. Maybe the first time you came, when they uh, complained about the flood. Remember the flood water? And, uh, and now you have a completion. I was wondering if any one of uh, our people were also beneficiaries from your your benefit. I'm saying they should they should thank you you are here now. If anyone if there is anyone here, including the Soma himself, if you brought a son or a daughter that benefited from you being in the office, they should thank you now. This is the opportunity to when benefit the one like Bob Nara. We benefit the one. But we put one in the team today. They are benefit the one. They are not benefit the one. They are white one, but they are not Bob Nara. You you hear the king talking. This is one of the the most respected. Oba netene nabagye. Oba don't just say things because he wants you to laugh. It is only fools who, who say things that is not right. Scangard against this king. There is none in Africa like our king. We are not lying. We are not lying. I'm an old city town town now. The Oba who can say it, and they talk kind. You no, know, they look fish. Go tell you, boy, whether you want to go hang for three, you go hang. As you go do rich, Onyamri, IPOB do rich, rich. Well, what is their end? When in Adi can they come on social media, they run in mouth. They talk trash. I I wish them. And I and what do now? We are sick of governor. Do I move away? Kuwait. Somebody go come tell you saying near governor. The governor, the way governor, they I don't know. Governor, they give them, they feed them. All you were yard worky. They use your head till they make money. Uh, after for four years, they'll come. They tell you, you people can go follow them. We yeah, na reality na today, na reality. Baba, let them know who you don't endorse, who you don't empower for this state. If they look Baba like that, we're not going. You come now, you want come be governor. This climate, but what would they talk? Say, oh, someone let the tribe bring them. Would they wait? Would they wait? That's why some people would they run their mouth. Or oh, some of our Asian, not be Asian people, beautiful people for us. So. Those Asian, we don't spend three weeks be with IPO, Bio, Nyamiri. Just come here. You <laughs> are here. Some of you get inferiority complex. When, whenever I don't show, you, 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 you look inferior. You feel like you are inferior. Hey man, I'm a guy. Hey, I'm a big boy. Hey, where he was? I don't want to make you worry. Hey, me man. I said, I'm a real boy. But one thing I want you to know, you are not inferior. And I don't man is not greater than you. Igbo man is not greater than you. I said it before, I'll still say it again. Yoruba man is not greater than you. You are very important. You are very... God created you the best. 
That's what you have to have in mind. But respect others. Life is like a mirror. When you respect others, others respect you. But when you listen to Onyamri confused, IPOB, or no government people, you want to behave like them. You go down like them. That's the truth. Don't get away here. Okay, why? Emma, hey, don't tell. So election they come. Everybody want to be governor. Why are you go and try your luck? Oh, why that big drama? A bomb of a basket, you know. My wife, why? Our balcoto, and ah, no, and I at all. And then I saw Duna. Well, I don't know. I can't do any more Dunga. Oh, yeah, I don't want my burner. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, yeah, Aba, we want to warm up. PC no, PC hungry lion. Men day, we want to be. No, we only have to cover. No, radio banner. We are here. We are going to go. UK, yeah, South Carolina. So I don't want to walk back. Who cool? How are cool? Oh no, Nana. Oh Nana. Hey, Nana. Ah, Nana. We must be here. Now we are in the right. We are. We are here. We are here. We are here. We are here. Wow, why are you a city of bar? Why are you so day? And why? I have both and I have both and body. Let us strategize. What you want, you can get it, but not, not be by war, not be by talking recklessly. Unity, I could go it. I hate nobody. One thing is respect me, I respect you. But if you have a problem with me, carry and go. Or you have a problem with the adults, carry and go. I do how na me ama me gbo e wa gbon de. No ma e o ba ni ma e onwe. Ofo. Thank you. We are the losers now. I want to I want to thank all of you because I want to to listen to this very press and I appreciate all the adult people all over the world. Um, concerning this matter of um, Klemagba palace related matter and all of that, I've always said it that when it comes to issues surrounding matters of palace, that's the only issues that I can ever continually discuss about. Now that it concerns the palace, I want to talk about it. Some of us were in the palace that very day. It was on Thursday because it happened to, that was the day I went to present the woman I wants to marry to his royal majesty by wearing second show. Some of us saw everything that transpired. While some persons want to start reading political meanings to it, the palace has always maintained his apolitical stand. The palace do not get involved in the matters of frivolities of politics, as well as the palace has always maintained that stand. So the issues of Klemaba being childed by the Oba of Benin, it's what I will refer to a father correcting the son the mistakes of his own son. Kwemangba might have been a junior minister, but he's not an ASA for minister. He's a minister from Endo State. I know a lot of persons want to draw comparisons as well between Kwemangba and Watil Vasiti Nongba, Andi Ehanire something, and. The other minister, the one that was minister for her, I don't even know his complete name, as a matter of fact, tra 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 tragically, I, a lot of Benin people doesn't even know, or Edo people doesn't even know if that one exists. Ehanire does not have political value. So, his Royal Majesty even criticizing Ehanire is wastage of criticism. So 
So when people are now saying that, why was Lemaba criticized and Ihaniri not being criticized? And Ena Karuni Zitani for Ena Nomekbakba, Edua Baro. You cannot criticize someone who doesn't have a polit political or electoral value. Let me not say he doesn't have a society, societal value, otherwise that would have been demeaning to him as a person. But for us as a Benin, we like to speak the truth to power the way it is. So for us, a Haniri is a failure. And I don't think he has any futuristic venture. So I don't think it is even right for the past to waste his criticism on that kind of a person who for the eight years that he was a minister of health, I, 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 I don't think that he helped even his immediate family members not to think about the generality of Edo, Edo people. So I don't think we should, there are no basis for making criticism or comparing Klemagba with Ehaniri. If you are comparing Klemagba with Ehaniri, it means that you are also be, belittling the capacity of Klemagba. That's, what, that's how I see it, because for us, the Benin people with Ehaniri is a wastage of that slot. If we were ever given. So, um, it was opportune. It has ruined his opportunity. So, I don't think anybody should waste their time criticizing or ever trying to do comparison between Kle Klemagba and Ehaniri. I'm not trying to be little wine in order to raise. I'm not a fan of any politician. I don't like, I don't like them generally because of um, how the beef behave. So, coming back to Klemagba generally, I don't think Criticisms are best, very good for politicians because I don't think any politician to see himself bigger than the traditional institution of the Benin people. I don't think any politician presently in a state is bigger than the Benin traditional institution. So when people who have seen leadership at the very apex of organization criticizes the younger generations that are coming up, they should take it in good faith. Let me derive an example into the second term a gubernatorial election that brought in Obaseki and Felix Shaibo during when both parties, APC and PDP, went to see His Royal Majesty. The, the person who was criticized the more or the most was Philip Shaibo. But today, Philip Shaibo seems to be in the present government, in a dose, they seems to be the closest person to the royal house. That I cannot uh, authenticate. Basically on precept of um, body language because it is a very rare occasion. It is very rare for you to see the Oba Benin attending public functions. But he, he followed Philip Shaibu to go open the palace of Ogienene. I think that that's the name of, the, of his king. And that is a rare privilege that very few peasants can ever get from the Oba of Benin. And which he did, it means that he sees him as a son. Philip Taipo took the criticism. And at the time when he was criticized, these same people jubilating now said the palace at that time was biased, that the palace uh, is not meddling into politics. They are the one who is happy because the shot is no longer to them. But at the time where one of their principals was being criticized or both of their principals was, were criticized and said that the palace was biased, I wonder if the old scenario were turned around, whether they would have been the one doing a lot of live videos and saying that the man by received Woto Woto. So I can only say that criticisms are good. It, it makes people to think to understand that they are accountable to the people. Questions of very quality questions were asked, which I, I feel that Lemaba should try and respond to, and um, instead of taking the criticism as part of being a public office holder, because it's when you're a public office holder, you get scrutinized. And when you're being scrutinized like one of the highest traditional authority in Africa, you should see yourself as being the being privileged and that's how i see that's how i see this thing so basically um, it is not the criticism to belittle 
Clemaba. It's a criticism to correct him to do better and do better because probably uh, he has a futuristic ambition. And like I said, the Hanere does not have any ambition, so there's only criticizing those who do not even have an ambition. So uh, that is why he was criticized. And he's not an insight or minister for people to start dr uh, doing comparison that was a Nana criticizer, Ma criticizer, Nana. Those are, those are childish. Those are childish talk. All right. He was a minister representing a do state or a small minister. But I said that in order to be, if you want to be literally clear, but maybe you can compare it with the field, the Haniri, who was a minister of health. So, only feeling there. So, in many cut our Byron on it, Bakpa, Edu Bakpa, look. So, you should take that criticism in good faith because the criticism, it's to spawn him to do better. And who they happy to be if he cry tomorrow? Those who are currently jubilating are those who are publicly in their actions in a couple of years, in the past two years of Jeroboam, has brought shame and reproach to Benin Kingdom. So I don't see any reasons why anybody should feel bad that anybody is happy about the current criticism that the palace in their almighty knowledge has uh, sort of bestowed on Clemamba. Uh, funny circumstances, you know. But, however, the people who are currently happy, we are, I'm sure that they are aware of what their boss or their principal, the sort of um, uh, atrocity they are even their own principal committed. And um, we are with... Okay, I will not. I am not into pa palace things. So, I'm sure that they are going to avoid the palace. And never, I'm, I'm sure that their own candidate is not going to go close to the palace. Otherwise, their own candidate is going to also re receive a fair share of criticisms. It means only have one kind. So the, the, the order that we have now is, is in tell them with. He has interest in things that go on in the society. So he completely understands everything that is happening on the social media space, on the reality basis. So questions will be asked. Candidates will be scrutinized. And criticisms are a part of the things that we must inject into Nigeria politics to make constructive criticism, to make it a, a, a a viable democratic practices. So basically, I don't think anybody should pick offense. But if maybe Clemaka now think that the other of Benin cannot criticize him, he would have been going towards the direction of uh, a journey of no return. Otherwise, people like us, the Zodua, will also always be here to speak truth to those who they will speak truth to. So the point is, he should take it in good faith, brush up himself. Yes, he can be criticized by the Oba Benin and by the Edo people in general. So brush up yourself and the palace never said that you shouldn't, you shouldn't have an interest in contested for any political position that he wants to collect, uh, contest for. He was only criticized by Beza on some of the things that he did that he didn't do right. So correct those things that you didn't do right and probably you become a better leader tomorrow. So for those who are currently very happy on the current situation of the Magba, as funny as the situation might seem, but Asigbe Sigbe, Aabmohi, no vie of the Ewakwe, no vie of the Ewakwe. So Edi Oni Taiset, so uh, he said 